Let's talk Crossroads. ITVX's new drama, Nolly, tells the story of the rise and fall of the soap's most famous star, Noel Gordon. Helena Bonham Carter takes on the lead role and Mark Gatiss as her best pal, Larry Grayson. Well, bright things ahead, darling. Brightness and joy. You've been set free. You're going to be a bigger star than ever. Oh, I don't think so. Just wait, they'll be clamouring for you. Bride's head revisited. You can have anything you want. No, I won't, Larry, because I've tried. I have tried and tried, and they won't have me. The BBC, Granada, everyone. I'm just an old soap star who's been sacked. I'm chucking it in. What? The generation game? Yeah. You are not. It's done. I'm out. But it's the most successful show on television. Not anymore. We got beaten in the ratings by Game for a Laugh. <gasps> Outrageous. Please welcome Mr. Mark Gatiss. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know, I've never had too much fuss in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see Hello. you. It's so good to see you. And um, shut that door, <laughs> yes. as we will see. You can say it. Oh, I can say it. It's so good <laughs> to see you. And I loved this because it was such a huge part of my childhood, Crossroads. It was always on when you were doing your homework or having your tea. And you know what's lovely? You've given Noel Gordon her place because she was kind of forgotten about, wasn't she? Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I remember it so vividly oh, from my childhood too. But, but um, I'm very touched by the fact that ITV has made this big three-parter about one of their least celebrated things, That's which is true. Crossroads. But Noel Gordon was an incredible woman. I mean, a, a pioneering TV producer, the first woman on colour television. I didn't know that. No, no nobody Until did. I saw the uh, drama. John Logie Baird, I mean, literally, it's extraordinary. John Logie Baird yeah. invented telly, yeah. actually put her on. She was the first... Yeah. Ah, oh, the first colour TV. And the first woman to interview a Prime Minister. Absolutely, I mean, she yeah. was. She really was a trailblazer. And best friends with Larry Grayson. What more could you want? with Larry Grayson. <laughs> that double act is just terrific. And in, in a way, a lot of people have forgotten him too. And yeah. he was a massive yeah. star. Well, I, I found uh, one of the joys of, of being offered this job was, uh, was rediscovering him, really. Yeah. And remembering how much he was a part of our, our oh, childhoods. But absolutely. also... He's just so funny. It's so, it's so wonderful. It's, it's sort of filthy stuff, <laughs> but it it's kind was. of it's delivered with such innocence. Yes. And he was just an absolute natural. You know, he went straight from the clubs after. It's like a thirty-year overnight success story. Yes, he was an overnight success after yeah. three yeah. decades of hard graft. Yeah. But then, you know, as soon as he's in a TV studio, he just knows how to go. And just and just looks to a camera and gets a laugh. And you know, gets it's a laugh. Joyous that thing. is. Yeah. Such a brilliant skill, <laughs> it really is. And the fact, I just think that Noel Gordon and Larry Grayson would absolutely have loved this whole thing. Well, how could just, they not? <laughs> I mean, they just would have. And to be played by Helena Bonham Carter, yeah. of course. And you do most of your scenes. All of your scenes yeah. actually must yes. have been with yeah. Helena, yeah. mustn't they? Yes, yeah, so, well, you know, it was a, it was one of those jobs you you hope you'll you'll get offered. And uh, yes. obviously, R Russell T Davis's uh, great script and and Helena, who I, I've I've met a couple of times over the years and never worked. With. Yeah, but it was very strange. The first, our first day on set was on "This Is Your Life," uh, Noel's "This Is Your Life," uh, reproduced beautifully, and uh, and I said, you know, it's an odd moment for this because I, I had a poster of Helena on my my wall. We're almost exactly the same age, but when I was a student, I had a poster for a room with a view. I said, it's very odd now that this has finally come full yeah. circle. For it us, is, it's know. strange, isn't it? And, he, and of course, Larry Grayson was in Crossroads as well. Did he not play the chauffeur well, it's when a she lot, was getting married? He, he, is, he does a guest spot which doesn't exist anymore, so there's some photographs. Oh. And then on the famous wedding day at yes. Birmingham Cathedral, um, the, the publicity shots are him. Uh, in, a, in a ridiculous white chauffeur's... There, there we are. There she uh, and there the he is! Yes. Oh, that look! But I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think it ever actually made it into the show. It's become a slightly an urban legend. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, it should have. <laughs> it absolutely should have. It's such a good drama. I just... I wallowed in nostalgia, but also I think that people that don't know Crossroads or don't remember Crossroads will get a lot from this as yeah. well, I don't think, you think? I, I keep saying it's... It's a great it's, story. It's, it's the story of a queen losing her crown. Totally. And if you know nothing about daytime soaps or or the history of British mm. television, you, you, you still get it. She's, oh, she's yeah. this extraordinary matriarch who is so, has the carpet whipped from under her and, and doesn't know what to do with herself. But she, she comes back amazingly to do Gypsy. There she's, do yes. there she's doing the, the bye-bye on the QE2. Know, this is the funniest thing. I did an interview <laughs> recently about this and the, the interviewer had only seen uh, a rough cut 
where Helena was on a sort of scissor lift because, of course, they put her into the footage of the QE2. Sure. And he thought that's what Crossroads had done. <laughs> and Russell said, no, they had the QE2. I mean, literally, the only too, time they ever pushed the boat out, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but she had to stay on the QE2? Yes. She couldn't get off? That's the most extraordinary <laughs> thing. She was on her own. She had to sail to Sherbrooke alone and fly oh, back on her own. It's, it's God, it's tragic. mad. It's completely <laughs> mad. And as you said, went from there to, to actually do a really good stage production of Gypsy. Mm. She starred in Gypsy, so yeah, yeah. she could she could do it all. Yeah. She could do it all. And it's lovely to remember her like mm. that. It's just it's such, such good fun. <laughs> now, look, you, I don't know how you do it, because you've got so many things going on. You're directing The Unfriend. Now, we had Amanda Abingdon in, mm -hmm. was it last week or the week before, I yeah. think? And she was talking about that. Very interesting play. That's on in, uh, in the West End at the moment, wow. as they used to say, Little Box, now transferring to the Criterion <laughs> Theatre London. That must be a joy when yeah. that happens. Oh, yeah. Yes. When you know that you're going oh. into the West End, and yeah. it's just like, wow. I mean, talking about, you know, showbiz lineage, that's the sort of thing we always used to see at the end of sitcoms. I know. know. So that's, that's thrilling. True. And I'm now directing uh, The Way Old Friends Do, which is my partner's play. That's uh, right. A Birmingham rep. Now, this sounds really interesting. Is that not, that's an ABBA song, isn't it? Or, yeah. Yeah, it's an ABBA song. Yeah. There is a sort of ABBA theme. Yes, it's about theme. two old school friends who meet there you in are. middle yeah. age and decide to form the world's first ABBA tribute band in drag. Oh, how... Yeah. What? Well, that... Why has... Why nobody, has no-one thought of that uh, before? For goodness sake. Yes. So we open at Birmingham Rep uh, in uh, February and then it goes on tour. Oh, that sounds yeah. great. That, that's absolutely, totally up my street. <laughs> Everything sure. seems to be today. It really is today. <laughs> as well as that, you are actually starring at The National as well, or, yes. or, or I think you've cloned someone else to do that, because I don't know how you get time <laughs> to do after, all these that's things. That's after The Way Old Friends that's Do. Fantastic. Yes. I'm playing uh, Sir John Gilgood in a new play by Jack Thorne, uh, directed by Sam Mendes about Gielgud directing Richard Burton's Hamlet on Broadway. Oh, that's that's famous stories, that. mm. That's yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. That's very grown up, Mark. That's terribly grown well, up. Well, I've been having all this fun. I know. <laughs> You've been having all this fun being being Larry Grayson, so now it's now it's time for grown up stuff. Hamlet, you know, Richard it's Burton. It's called Range. Gielgud. <laughs> <laughs> you have got the range. You absolutely have. <laughs> Listen, it's always a joy to see you. you. Thank you. Just. Keep doing what you're doing and you can watch Nolly. Actually, you can watch it from tomorrow on ITVX, so you'll be able to watch the whole I binged the three. Yeah, yeah. You had to. You, you absolutely had to. It was <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So much.